Now, we often hear sort of two opposing views of what this future of workplace is gonna be. It's the sci-fi, we're all wearing VR headsets and there's flat screens everywhere and robots are running around. And then there's sort of the, the bleak, stark future where we're all out of work and AI has replaced all of us. Tell us, you know, what is the future of the workplace? So the short answer to that is, yes, robots will rise up and take all of our jobs. It's going to happen. Ah. We, but it's not going to be bad. See, here's the point, is okay. that when we look at the advancements in artificial intelligence, the smart cities, the internet of things, big data, autonomy and land, sea, and air, what it means is we're going to have these sentient tools. We're going to have tools that are aware, that can think, and that are social. So what that means is there's wide swaths of the workforce that will be replaced. There's wide swaths that we will replace, but the thing is, is we have time. We know this is gonna happen. It's been happened, it's happened in the past. It's only gonna happen more in the future. But the fact of the matter is we have time now. So do you think, as opposed to some of the previous technology shifts, we have the advantage of we can work backwards. You're saying we know this is going to happen. Do you think we should, and you're saying we should start preparing now to achieve that goal as opposed to, you know, let's start thinking about what that goal is going to be, is that? My joke with many people is if a machine or a robot or artificial intelligence could, took, can take your job, then your job probably sucked, <laughs> right? You're, because basically your, the, your job was turning you into a machine. But with that said, your job may have sucked, but your paycheck didn't. And this is important, right? And this is important to the inequalities, the instability, the uncertainty that will come if we don't start making those steps now and start having those conversations. So, you know, you say we were turning into machines, so I guess the jobs that are going to stay are the ones that involve humans. Talk to us a little bit about that. You know, what, what should we do? We have survived for millennia as a species because we can adjust, we can evolve, we can get better. Aren't we going to continue to do that? Isn't, the future still is bright, isn't it? The future is incredibly bright. I always tell people, if you want to prepare for the jobs of the future, it's very easy. Just be human. And what are human beings good at? We're really good at curiosity. We're really good at adaption. We're really good at human interaction. We're really good at emotional intelligence, right? Because if you can be human, a computer can't take your job. We, when we hear AI and we hear computer and robot and workflow and automation, it all sounds so linear. But you have this beautiful, outlook of creativity and humanity. What, what is the future of work for an employee that isn't a challenge? What is the benefit? What, what is the plus that is going to occur in the next 10 years because of artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence, autonomy, all this amazing stuff that has been happening and will happen will allow us to be more human. It will allow people to have the job that they want. 